facing your old team and no doubt lots of excitement and then to kind of have it go the way it did uh frustration yeah i mean every time you get hurt it's uh it's frustrating no matter who you're playing but uh yeah i was excited and then uh that's how it goes though um was it just in your eyes just kind of a freak accident freak play the kind that can sort of happen in a contact sport uh i think you could say that but at the same time no i don't um personally i think it was kind of a play that doesn't need to happen but uh what am i supposed to do now a former teammate of yours, a guy who played with you for four seasons, that well, he was one. Well, I played with him a lot. He's done a lot of little things like that. It's stuff that, you know, you guys say it's an awkward fall. It's not an awkward fall. It's uh, someone pushing your feet out from the back. My knee gets caught under me, and then he tackles me. It's uh, it's that simple. Um, I was pretty close to being gone for the rest of the season. So, I mean, it's it's frustrating to look at stuff like that and think about it. Uh, obviously, I don't think his intent is to hurt me, but... Uh, when you make plays like that, it's it's a stupid play, and uh, it's frustrating to think that guy sits in the box for two minutes, and then I have to deal with what I've dealt with for the past uh, month and a half. But uh, that's life. Um, now I'm here, and uh, looking forward uh, to playing again, just having fun again. It's tough when you're by yourself and uh, recovering. Sorry, go ahead. I'll reach out to you. Uh, it's between me and him, and I'm not going to get into that. You're coming to a new team. You're getting to know all these guys, and then so early in the season, now you're out. You stuck. You, you did. You were around the team a lot, right? Though, was, how important was that to kind of still have that sense of continuity and familiarity when you're trying to kind of get established here? Yeah, it's just bad timing. I mean, it was my second game. I missed most of the preseason because because of the flu that was going around. Um, Good to see the teams winning, but at the same time, it's it's tough being a guy that you know you're you're on the outside, kind of looking in almost. Obviously, everyone does their best to make you feel like you're you're part of the team, and you feel part of the team. But yeah, I am a new guy. Um, it would have been nice to come in and get uh, familiar and play and, and get comfortable, as opposed to you know not not playing. I haven't played hockey. These guys are 20 games in, and I'm really haven't done much yet. There was that six to eight week timeline, uh, and you, it looks like you're close to kind of the tail end of that, the eight weeks. Uh, uh, as you say, you could have been a, a lot worse, right? So the, was there almost a sense of relief to go with the frustration? Uh, well, it was four to six, and it's six weeks yesterday. Um, everyone heals differently. I mean, it's tough for me to say. Do I wish I was one of the guys that came back after four weeks? Yeah. Um, taking me six weeks, I'm still dealing with some stuff um, that I'm going to have to deal with for the rest of the year and that's that's part of playing hockey everyone deals with those types of things um but yeah I, it's just it is what it is it takes time and you gotta uh just go through the process Rick talks about a brace and getting familiar is that it's sort of an odd feeling i guess to have that and is that when you say about uh, the rest of the year is that something you're gonna have to skate with all year or? Yeah, i mean it's not ideal i mean i'm sure some of you guys have worn braces for other sports i mean uh you play hockey with out of brace your whole life and then you're getting asked to put something under your your gear that you're not comfortable with so yeah it is uh it is important to find the right brace and make sure it it fits for some guys it's easier than others maybe i got a little bit of uh i say like ocd i don't know it, it bugs me so there has been that battle with uh, the at guys but uh, i have to wear it and they've been really good in helping me and getting the right brace for me you've had a chance to obviously watch this team a lot now from a different perspective what have you learned about these jets through you know the, the games you've missed uh, i think same stuff you guys see we're, we're deep we're uh, resilient and uh, i think it can be uh, any line that really uh, can can spark the team it seems like any given night it's one night it's the third line one night it's uh, the first line that's really getting the guys going but uh, we're a deep team and it's good that's what you need to, to make uh, playoff runs and, and be a good team throughout the season because guys go down has been more of a mental grind than anything all recovery processes are more of a mental grind, honestly. Um, there's a lot of physical things, but it's pretty easy to go in the gym and just put your head down and grind. I think a lot of guys will, will do that. It's tougher mentally to be at home when the team's on the road and you're like, well, what am I going to do here for the next five days? So, yeah. Is it, is it made worse given kind of sort of the history that you've had with injury? Like it's just like here's another one that i got to kind of go through? Um. I don't know. I mean, everyone talks about this history of injury. I had a back injury that I struggled with early. I was 17, 18, 19. I'm 24 now. Since then, I've had, I had a concussion last year that I came back for for the playoffs. Other than that, I really haven't been super injured. Um, 
yeah, it's just kind of the thing that people put on me. <laughs> Looks like you might get sort of eased, I guess, in in terms of where you're starting. Uh, um, is this one of those where you're just happy to get in the lineup? Doesn't matter where it is off the hop here. Yeah, I'm just happy to be playing. Um, doesn't uh, doesn't doesn't really matter. I mean, I just want to play. And uh, like I said that uh, we're we're a really deep team, so uh, that's uh, it's a good thing. And I mean, I haven't I haven't played like I said already. I haven't played. These guys are 20 games in, so it's not like uh, I have high expectations on myself. But I can't. <laughs> have the expectation I'm going to come in and dominate or anything tomorrow. Obviously, I'm going to try my best. <laughs> what was that like on that front row power play one when you started the season and today uh, in the bumper position? Uh, that, that's a position you played as well uh, uh, with the man advantage? You know, uh, it's, uh, it's not, I'd say it's more interchangeable parts. I'm just I can be net front, I can be bumper. It's just kind of wherever the, the play kind of takes it. Um, you'll still see me in the net front.